wanted to discuss Black Friday as today's Black Friday. You know, what what happened to Black Friday? Like last night after Thanksgiving, my sister was like, oh, they're uh, doing Black Friday at Target. I'm like, it's not. It's Thursday. Thursday. It's like people can't even get a break from having dinner with their family. It used to be <laughs> that these stores had the courtesy to wait till the next day. But now the pandemonium, the depravity starts right as you put your fork down. Like seriously, we went there at five o'clock and there was like, we went outside Target, there was like leaves everywhere, garbage, low blood, mm -hmm. it was like blood stains. The police were there. I'm like, okay, I didn't even finish digesting my food and already it's like the fucking purge. Down at Target. What's in Target, by the way? Nothing. Literally, what is in ta Target that is worth lining up for? They did actually have the Switch. <laughs> by the way, they had a... It's it's all... This is not an ad. It's just the first time I saw I this, the, Switch. the Switch for sale in any store. That's true. The funny thing about the Switch was we were, we were just there mostly out of curiosity. Um, <laughs> we were walking through the store... The Switch was a blockbuster Black Friday deal at $2.99. <laughs> That's the price. retail price. That's a full price. <laughs> what the hell kind of scam you running? <laughs> that's, not a, that's not a blockbuster. <laughs> so essentially what, what Black Friday has turned into is retail companies tricking you into thinking you're getting a deal. It's a great Thursday. <laughs> They're not even giving you deals anymore. We're walking through Target. It's like TVs. You know, you save 30 bucks. People are buying Blu-rays. My sister went there to buy Blu-ray. Well, who buys digital media? <laughs> is that, how is digital media still a thing? I got a Blu-ray. Unlike my, D my DVDs are garbage. I don't watch those, but my Blu-rays are killing it. <laughs> You're making fun of your sister right now. Yeah, who may be watching. Up, you know, she's not watching. <laughs> Brian is, though. <laughs> Brian Her brother-in-law is. I've got a Blu-ray. <laughs> so I wanted to celebrate. Um, <laughs> it, the, I, I wanted to celebrate the act of stomping on a baby's face to save $10 on a rice cooker <laughs> by showing you my favorite Black Friday compilation videos. Cool. Or not, I made my own compilation. This is Ethan's finest. Wow. You're like so, a DJ of... <laughs> YouTube. I'm a DJ of pushing Nana down and breaking her fucking hip to save two dollars on a Blu-ray that you won't, you will throw out. Nice playlist. I, you gotta love the contrast of Thanksgiving too. Thanksgiving, you you get around with your family. <laughs> yeah, you're let's so, give thanks. You're so grateful for my love, for the love I have in my life, for my family, my friends. I'm healthy. I'm happy. And then. Eight hours later, you're like, get the fuck out of my way, Granny. I need to save $5 on this <laughs> television that I'm going to put in the kitchen. Because I already have one in all my other rooms. My kitchen needs a TV. I'm best. <laughs> Here we go. This is, takes place in Walmart, of course. These people act like it's the last TV on Earth. <laughs> Maybe it is in their hearts and minds. Get that TV, boy. Get that. My God. Get that monitor. Jesus. Pass it along here, fellas. There's only it's the. Uh... I was about to break loose here, guys. There's only ten left. Did you? There's only ten left. Pandemonium, my friends. Here it goes. Oh, Get shit. that TV. Get that mark. Do not let that bitch take that 23-inch television Is that from actual you. police people? Yeah, the police have to waste their goddamn time. <laughs> like, I swear to God, at Target and Walmart, the police are just like, I have to wake up early, go away from my family, and stake out Target or Walmart. Because I know I'm going to have to taste them. It's one of the most dangerous to, days for them. I'm going to have to taste someone this morning. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Screaming, get on the ground at 5.30 a.m. at Target. God bless America, eh? The TV must be broken by now. <laughs> the TV doesn't even work. Somebody had mentioned that 
they sell all the like the electronics that didn't pass the in- inspection. So they have like the low tier shit grade electronics that they pawn off for discount on these days. Mm-hmm. So they're actually even buying even shittier electronics. This doesn't happen in other countries. What do you see here? What does this mean? America is a special place. Thank you, Ilo. Yeah, it's very special. Is that it? <laughs> what does it mean? Uh, I don't know. People need people need their TVs. Right. And it's on sale. Apparently there's just some good shows right now. <laughs> I don't know. People don't get paid enough. Americans, they don't get paid enough. I just I, I keep c- hearing like the Friday song in my head. <laughs> it's Black Friday. <laughs> Friday. Gonna stamp on Nan's face. <laughs> Gotta save ten dollars on this rice cooker. <laughs> I love to see what they're actually squealing and shitting over in these videos. Because you don't expect it. I swear to God one of them's a rice cooker. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> <laughs> but like other countries have consumerism Europe I actually think the US is very ma- materialistic more than other places mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah I don't know what is it but I feel it it's but, in the air <laughs> but you're right that electronics and all that stuff is generally much more affordable here in America than in Europe yeah it is you guys may not know but In Israel, for example, and I think the same is true in Europe because there's, like, different import taxes and stuff. But a TV that would cost, like, $300 here in America would cost, like, $500 in Israel. Same with computers and laptops and cameras and all that shit. Shoes, stuff like that. Clothing. So, like, we have it. Our our wages are in general higher. I mean, people don't. It's hard to find a good-paying job here. And, And it's more affordable. Is it just deals? Do people just love saving that they're worth that they're willing to kick a small child on the nuts? I don't um, know. I don't know. It's interesting. It's fascinating. Now, this one is gonna absolutely shock you. This one blew my socks right off my feet. Hila, you're not gonna want to miss this. <laughs> Can you tell me what it is they're <laughs> fighting over, first of all? It does look like a rice cooker. It looks like a little fucking barbecue or some shit, or like a bull, like a Tupperware, like. Yeah. But watch, just watch what happens. I don't, I don't want to interrupt this one because it's just so pure. What is this? Watch this kid. Do you see this? No. Did you see this fucking witch pry it out of this oh, sweet see, young kid's hands? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and she's fighting the grandma. Wow. Why are you being so Watch. aggressive? You stole it from the kid. She pri- She's like, give me this, you little shit. It's like out of Jingle <laughs> All the Way or something. It's like out of a fucking parody. How is this real? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is probably an otherwise like decent human being with a family and kids and a husband. Who's, who's st- <laughs> stealing shit from a kid. <laughs> People are literally spilling out. On a pile of crap. <laughs> Can we watch it again from beginning to end? As if a nuclear bomb, a, a nuclear <laughs> attack is imminent. Okay. What is that? Dan, can you I like, really zoom in on that? I really want to know what's worth it's fighting. Just a, it's just a pot. Yeah. It's Hold just on. something me, you cook I'm going to get a close look. It's just some cooker. I swear to God, it's just a pan. <laughs> I swear to you now, it's a Teflon pan with a with a glass top. <laughs> okay. Imagine that, and then watch this. <laughs> well, first of all, there's so much to see here. This woman eats shit. Like I haven't eaten that shit shit like that since I was like eight. Watch how her body sprawled out, and she's like, oh my god, I just ate shit. But then with her left arm, she's like, well, at least I got one of these. Watch this lady. On the right. There, in the green jacket. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got one. I'm good. Oh, she got two. How, as a kid, do you even oh understand this? Oh my god, this? there's so much going on. This may be the best video of all time. I mean, I could study this. This is like... Will go down in the history books. It's kind of like the joy of playing something like GTA, where you can like just mm. run over people, mm-hmm. like nothing makes sense. Mm-hmm. This is almost like a video game, like that. Right, Black Friday is GTA in real life. <laughs> 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 
This kid is just trying to understand the world he lives in right now. These are his, the most formidable years of a person's life. And some woman just... Um, <laughs> what kind of world... I just... You live on the planet. You live in America, the most prosperous country of all time. And you're... You're crushing a child. For a fucking... Teflon pan. I don't know. <laughs> it's not worth your dignity. What do I wonder? Is do these people go home afterwards when the adrenaline has stopped pumping? You know, when they're when the discounts have have stopped to seduce them. Do they have a moment of clarity like an alcoholic who's like or a drug addict who's like mm. they come home, they sit on their bed and they're like, Oh my god, what have I become? No. Okay. They're just like, Yes, I got the pen. Think so? <laughs> She's at home cooking. <laughs> Let me cook something now. <laughs> she probably didn't even fucking use it. I don't know. Have you ever wanted a pan that much in your life? <laughs> no. <sighs> I don't ever want any pen. Just you buy it when you need it. <laughs> <laughs> you would say that. You're so privileged. You don't know what it's like to need a pan. <laughs> but like, just you go home and you're like, I just, what have I done? I've grabbed a pan. I've 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 crushed a child. What have I done? Anyway, there's so much more. Well, okay. There's so much more. We've got a call, an anecdote, from somebody who has a story for us. Um, let's take a call from Eli. Eli, you're on the air. What's up, buddy? What up, Fupa Troop? Fupa what Troopers. <laughs> What's up? You got a story about Black Friday? Um, yeah, all right. Um, so, like, it was a long time ago. Uh, me and my brother were both, like, big PlayStation people. Mm. And um, when I was a lot littler, before we had anything like that, our uncle had a PS3. One day, like, we were like, oh, that, like, that new Batman, like, a Batman game is awesome. So we went to Black Friday to go get this game, right? And I was, like, really little, right? Maybe, like, a six or seven or something like that, right? We were there trying to find the game, and uh, this, like, old lady, she was probably like, 60 or to 70, right? She thought I was trying to take a purse, right? And she grabbed my face, and she had those long, like, <laughs> fake nails that old people like to get, right? And she left a huge scratch on the side of oh my, my face. Oh, my God. Like, huge. Like, I was, like, like, like it broke the skin. I was bleeding. My uncle got pissed. My brother got pissed. It almost started, like, a riot at, like, this Target. I love like, it, man. It was insane. It was, like, the first time I've gone to Black Market. I mean, Black Friday, and <laughs> Black I'm never going to Black Market. Because I'm just scared. So you haven't been back since then, yeah, but, but it sounds like you got I mean, some they're, badass, they're both like... The same. It sounds like you have some badass, like, superhero scars on your face now, though. Yeah. <laughs> but, damn, who did you save? Oh, yeah, some crazy dude, I old mean, bitch I... just clawed me in the face on Black Friday. <laughs> yeah, dude, I bet, I bet under the right light, I bet you can still see the scars. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, um, yeah, listen, you may have left empty-handed, but a souvenir... You're an American hero. Yeah, you're a hero, man. Thanks for braving that. No. No man, we we pushed that old uh, way, that old lady out of the way. We got that game. Oh <laughs> hell, yeah, that's what I like to hear. I think we that's have America. <laughs> yeah, Did you... I, I one hand on my scars, holding the blood. <laughs> the other hand on the game. I was running that checkout. Bro, you were in the trenches, man, taking grenades. You're an all American hero. Thank you for sharing <laughs> your story. I was, I was like crawling around, hiding. <laughs> but thanks for taking my call, man. Oh yeah, nice Thank nice you. chatting with I you, Eli. You love you too, bro. <laughs> thanks. Okay, let's. We have another call from Davin. He apparently grandma knocked him over and grabbed a box of diapers from him. <laughs> diapers? Shit. I'm curious now. Devin, tell me about Hello? the diapers. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know about the diapers. Dude, it was one of the most craziest things yeah. I've ever experienced, you know. I love it. Like growing up as like uh, growing up as like a kid in like a usually normal life and then just you know, grabbing a box of diapers and not thinking anything of it, and then having this random wacko come up and just knock you over for what, some diapers. What was you the know? sale on the it diapers? It really just, like, hit you hard as a kid. Do you remember what was the deal on the diapers? I don't even think there was a deal on the diapers. <laughs> it might have been, like, 50% off, but nothing well, to, just nothing the spirit nothing to like, lay out a kid over. It's like the apocalypse. Like, we're... Uh... Was it a was there a riot going on at the time? Was was this during the LA riots? 
No, it was literally just a regular Black Friday. It was like a few years back. Like I wasn't even that old, maybe like nine or ten. And my parents were like, hey, just go get the diapers. Just like <laughs> oh. two aisles that way. And I was like, they, all right, no problem. <laughs> they sent you on a solo oh mission God. that you never forget. <laughs> did you, did I you... left as a nine-year-old and came back as a man. Wow. <laughs> That's beautiful, man. Thanks for sharing that. That was really poetic. Appreciate you. God bless you. <laughs> Pooper Trooper. Bye. Um, well, it's I tough out there. On Black Friday, age, age ain't nothing but a number. That's right. <laughs> 70, take a tumble and break your hip. <laughs> Six, formative years, you'll never be the same. 